Hey everybody, it's Rich again. Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to give you a quick update video on where we stand with uh, the master bathroom. I basically have completed the, the framing portion of the job and I just wanted to give you uh, kind of a, a walk around of the items that I uh, addressed in, in the remodel. So on this side of the bathroom is what I really had been focusing on recently. Um, I I think you've seen this before. I had pushed this wall back um, to make room for the, the vanity that we're going to be putting here. And then also had to reframe all of this uh, to do the pocket door itself. Um, and if you're interested in uh, knowing how I did that, uh, there is a previous video uh, that you can reference and I'll put it in the description below. On this side, I had to essentially lower the floor down uh, so that I could make for the recessed area to uh, have a zero entry uh, shower. Um, so I haven't cut the hole for it yet and that board, the, the plywood is just sitting on there so it hasn't been affixed to it at this point. So I added uh, quite a bit of foam behind this piece of sheetrock here because there was a corner there. Uh, that you really couldn't access, but um, I was able to get the nozzle of, of the spray foam and, and filled that whole cavity up with some spray foam. And then I got some unfaced bats and put it up in between the other bathroom, because on the other side of this is uh, our secondary bathroom. So I put insulation in between there, and, and then I put some... Um, some construction adhesive on all the studs from top to bottom, like all the way around, and aligned it. Um, and then put uh, two pieces of sheetrock there, or one piece of half inch. By applying that sheetrock to this side, I basically seal up that cavity with insulation and it provides some sound deadening ability f between the other bathroom and this bathroom. Because I knew that we were gonna, I was gonna put this kind of dummy wall here. So I'm have uh, basically a, a complete wall niche rather than having just a little box inside of say a, a wall cavity of a stud. And typically that's, you know, they're 16 inch gaps. I wanted something wider. And then I also wanted to give some space because if, if you use the existing wall area, um, let me, for example, if I use the existing wall area, this is the other side, this is the bathroom on the other side. If I would use this as my shelf and put a, put like say a shelf right here and then put my tile, it, there's really no space between the other bathroom and and our bathroom and so I wanted to have that gap in between so that there is a sound barrier there um, and then I also wanted to have a, a bigger shelf because typically you have a two by four shelf and that's really not a big enough depth I don't feel is, is a big enough depth for all the things that you you know tend to put in the shower um, and so I wanted a two by six uh, wall so I developed kind of like a you know, back over here. I developed a two by six wall. So I have kind of a dummy wall above and then a dummy wall below um, that I will, you know, obviously face with the hardy backer or Dura Rock, whatever you want to call it. The other thing that I did um, to make sure that this was secure, even though it's not really a, a um, structural wall, I did want to make sure that this was secure and not just nail up and have it secured up there. I actually put a, a jack stud here and a jack stud here and I had to notch it. That was the only way I could really do it. Um, but it, it is holding the weight of this board which is also holding the weight of this as well. Um, and then I secured it with some screws not just nails, so I got a screw in here, and then I got screws up there just to make sure that it's it's held up pretty good. Um, and then on the bottom, it's just nailed in place onto the sides and at the bottom here. 
Um, and then I also uh, framed out a little uh, niche for your for your foot. Um, so my wife wanted some sort of a, um, a step to be able to put her foot up so when she shaves her legs she can do do that. So I, I kind of framed it out with some two by sixes and two by fours. Um, this is at an angle so that the water, you know, it, it, it's, it's good on your feet, you know, when you put your prop your foot up, it's not just flat, but you want it to be able to, when, when water hits it, it'll run off. I believe this angle is a, a 10 degree angle <clears throat> uh, from level or from horizontal. So, um, in case you're interested, uh, and that's what I use to do that. And it is approximately, I want to say that's 18 inches, but let me, I will take a tape measure to it. <clears throat> Once you put the mortar bed in place, it's going to be about 15, 15 inches from the ground. <clears throat> so, um, and that seemed to be the best feel. I'm a little low because the mortar bed's going to be there, so it's going to raise us up. So it's actually going to be, it'll be a little lower once you step up, probably about another inch, inch and a half once you get everything on there in terms of tile. Um, but um, but that works pretty well. So so that's how I frame that out. This has been framed as well, um, and I added some extra blocking here for the for the opening of the bathroom um, and then I also created this pocket door and I didn't really videotape that uh, because I had already done the uh, the video on the <clears throat> the other pocket door but this one's a little unique in that um, I wanted to have some structure on this side because I still wanted to um, have some outlets on this side and typically you can't do that when you just do a regular 2x4 um, width pocket door uh, it, you know the sheetrock would be typically right here and so you can't actually put any kind of electrical uh, behind that so I actually turned these boards um, on their side and created kind of a dummy uh, wall to kind of attach to the other wall, the other framed wall. So this is attached to this one and then up there it's attached to the other existing wall all the way down and kind of just built this, this the depth of this uh, wall up so that it matches this other side and that way I can put some shallow uh, gang boxes for for light switches uh, for the bathroom here and then I also have a shallow box for a receptacle that I'll have here because we're going to be putting uh, one of those extendable uh, magnifying mirrors that kind of extend out so I wanted something that was pretty sturdy because that that arm kind of extends out about 11 to 12 inches um, so that's why I built that out it'll be a little bit wider so I'll have to create some custom trim boards here uh, on either side you know, to, to, to fill in this gap, but uh, it's not a huge deal. So that's the, the completed framing uh, that I had to accomplish to, to get what we want for this bathroom. Hopefully you, this was helpful to you if you're thinking of doing a remodel. Obviously, this is unique to my bathroom, but if uh, this is helpful and gives you some ideas or some tips, I'm happy to be able to, uh, you know, to be able to share this. Hey, if you watched this video all the way through, I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit the like button or subscribe to my channel to see other updates that I might post in the future. Okay, everybody, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.